When I first started, um, I could barely walk 150 steps at a time. My husband had to do everything. I, I basically, I went to work, I came home. That's all I did. He had to do all the shopping, he had to do everything for me. Um, at one point, um, I just knew I needed to start living instead of existing. And so I decided to try one more time to try to lose weight. Um, I started with just one small change at a time. I first started counting calories, and then I bought a pedometer, and I challenged myself to just walk 100 more steps a day. Um, fall of about four years ago, three and a half years ago, we were at, my husband and I were working in Green Fair and for, for the business we were working for, and there was Pedigo electric bikes there. And I kept watching, they were giving test breaks. And I'm watching, watching, and I'm like, oh, man, I would really like to try that, but I didn't know if I could do it. So, it's our uh, sixth edition of my uh, introduction to electric bikes. Uh, right now, Ron is speaking. I didn't want to, but I wanted to show you. We've got the bikes on display here. And in about 30 minutes, we're going to go out and do some riding. So, we got uh, Pedigo Corporate and the local shops are here. Electric Cycles from Tempe. They brought some of their bikes there. This is the Faraday. Uh, Adams Avenue's bikes is the newest Faraday dealer. So, they got three of them. Motive bikes. Uh, green wheel, uh, green bike, greenworldbike.com. Got some uh, bikes here from some of the attendees. <laughs> Light me up safety lights is here. This is uh, Marissa's personal bike. And oh, she's got an EG that's all lit up too. We love our light me up with safety lights. But as it gets darker, you'll really notice them too. Uh, Mars Cycles here with a couple really nice customs. Uh, they're out of Orange County. Some really awesome bikes. Ejo's here. There's a couple of their folders. Their Epics, Epic Light, and Epic SE. There's another uh, one of the people that's here uh, that brought their own bike. Got a Balfung Mid Drive. There's Hemden's bike, the Silver Machine. There's the Watt Wagon. Brought two of them. So I'm actually shooting this video while they're talking. There, I'll be able to find out what they said later when I watch the video. Because I got my other cam doing video. So the Blix is here for the first time. The Comfort in the Stockholm. I got their uh, uh, their folding bike up front. Oh, they got another one there. Some more Pedagos. Uh, Emotions, their first time here at the event. Uh, those bikes were brought by uh, uh, Electric Bike Central. The Specialized Turbos, got a couple of those. The Yuba Boda Boda, brought by uh, Metro Cycling. In fact, uh, back to these uh, Specialized, they were brought by uh, uh, UC Cyclery. They're a Specialized dealer, the Turbo. Got a Turn Bionics, Brompton. <laughs> There's the Virtue Pedalist. You can see me do a lot of stuff with that. I was able to take it to a couple events. It's coming along. Got some Prodeco Techs. So I, I would guess these Prodeco Techs are here from uh, San Diego Electric Bike and they brought a Polaris. That's the first time you've seen a Polaris here at my seminar. I've been trying to get them involved. And then you got the uh, Ohm, and this is here by, from Cycle Quest. They're also a Bionics dealer that's got the Bionics D on this particular Ohm. So, once again, Ohm, it's their first time at my seminar. People get a chance to ride that. Got a full lineup of Pedagos. Like I say, there's one from Surf Monkey. So, let's go in and get a last little lit. I've got to cut this off before too long. So, there's a lot of bikes here for people to ride. Some ones that hadn't been here before. Uh, there's a few vendors that didn't make it. Let's see. Oh, Rhonda's still talking good, so I've got to be quiet. Um, then I've been on Good Morning America. Um, I've been on the Steve Harvey Show. And my goal in life is to let people know that it's possible to change their lives. No matter where you are, no matter what you want to change, you can change. Just make one small, small change at a time, and over time, it all adds up. great public speaker and you can tell why that what a great ambassador for electric bikes. Also let's
give a big hand to Turbo Bob and Barbara as well. Who's this guy standing up in front of you and what's my background? My name is Sam Townsend. I'm a desert rat. I went to Indio High. I came from Coachella Valley, California. I'm a gearhead. And growing up, I was into motorcycles, down in the desert, and eventually we moved up to Orange County. In 1983, I won Motorcycle Mechanic of the Year through ROP, and my shop teachers put me in touch with a guy running a moped shop. The moped shops, electric bikes, a little bit of a correlation there, right? That was 1983 that I started working for Myron for $3.75 an hour. <laughs> Eventually I was a mechanic and I was making 50% of the labor. Over the years, Myron eventually retired in 1988 back to Costa Rica with his wife. And I took over the shop. Just out of high school. Young owner, new shop, what am I going to do? The moped industry was dead in the late 80s. There was nothing going on in the moped industry, and all I was doing was repairs. And I'm a new shop owner. How, what do I do? Where do I go? How do I make a living out of this? I went around from San Diego, there was a shop called Moped Mama, all the way to Lancaster, and I bought up all the moped inventory for about a penny on the dollar. About 12 complete stores. And I actually put a little loft inside my business, and for 10 years I slept inside my business. I wasn't making a lot of money, I was just surviving at that point. 1988, the same year I took over the moped shop, there was a local customer out of Wayne Park who had a stroke. His wife worked for Knoxbury Farm, and they came into the shop.